Hello and welcome. My name is Tony. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so happy you're here. I'm here with the Everyday Counts program and we have an hour together for chair yoga. As always, we'll spend a little bit of time checking in and establishing a breath. We'll move through the joints, through the upper body for the first part of class. And for the second part of class, we'll come down to the earth and work more within the core and a little more with the lower body. So we get kind of a top to toe movement practice. The movement practice is secondary to how it is that you're feeling. Everything I offer is simply a suggestion. If something doesn't feel right to you, don't do it. Or change it up. Move in a way that works with your body. There is no wrong way to do this. So trust yourself and how you feel. If you're not quite sure, use the check-in that we're going to be doing in a minute to check in throughout your practice. And that'll give you a really good idea of what's going on with yourself, your body, your breath. And with that information, we can make choices going forward that help us, that make us feel better. And this is a recording. If you get halfway in, and decide, you know what, that's enough for today. Fantastic, just shut it off. And if there's parts that you wanna skip, you can do that too. Not everything I offer is gonna feel good for everybody, and that's okay. So giving yourself full permission to take from your practice what you need today, leave behind everything else that doesn't, and have a little fun and play, getting to know your body and what works. Let's come to a comfortable seat on a chair that is stable and comfy for you. And you've got a little space around you. So feet at a comfortable distance. And this is gonna be different for each and every one of us so it does not need to look how it does in my body or anybody else's. Ankles under the knees gives us a lot of stability. And if you wiggle and waggle a little bit and you feel unstable, Taking the feet a little wider can sometimes allow us to feel more stable or sliding back in the chair. So we're using the back of the chair for support gives us even more stability. If you want to, you can pick those toes up, spread them nice and wide, or pick the balls of the feet up and imagine stretching the soles of your feet, both lengthways and widthways, and then laying the feet down, toes nice and soft. Take your awareness down to the surface underneath you. Whether you've got shoes on, socks on, bare feet, it does not matter. Just notice that your feet are supported here. Take a breath in. On an exhale, relax and release the muscles in your legs, upper, lower, your knees, your ankles, your feet. So we allow that support to really hold us. Then we'll take our awareness to where our seat meets the chair. Same thing here. If you want to do any movement, then you can. Depending on the kind of chair you're on and how cushioned it is, you may, if you wiggle from side to side, you may notice two bony bits side to side on your seat, left to right. Those are the base of the pelvis. So we want to get as even as we can with each of those, left to right. And you might notice if your shoulders are back from your hips, say you're sitting um, deeply into the back of your chair, then you're gonna be sitting on the back of the pelvis somewhat. And if your shoulders are forward of your hips, then you're gonna be sitting with the tailbone out behind you. So what we're looking for is a place that's comfortable in your body, kind of between the two. So we're sitting up on the top of those sitting bones. And again, you get to choose whether you want to slide back into the back of the chair or you want to come forward or play. Once we've established that same thing here that we did with the feet, let's take a big breath in and on the exhale, soften the upper body so we relax into the chair. And you can take a couple of breaths to do that, letting go of any pockets of tightness, tension that maybe you hadn't noticed so far. And we feel weighted 
down from the pelvis all the way down to the feet. This is where we're supported and held. And then from there, with that support, as if somebody came and zipped you up from the pelvic floor through the center line of your body, start to let the spine get a little longer, crown of the head reaches towards the sky, just a millimeter more. So we get just a tiny bit of space in our torso. So we're rooting to rise, rising through the upper body. Chin drawn in a little, back of the neck is long. Drawing the shoulders back and down a couple of times. And maybe this is the first time today. You might notice some clicks and clacks or some, ah, that's really tight there. But also notice the ease in places, because it is there. There might be some rough places. There might be some smoother places. Notice it all. And then we settle the shoulders back and down and draw the shoulders over the hips as best as we can. Hands, so balancing them. That way our spine is doing most of the work, so our muscles are doing a little bit less. The more our spine holds us up, the less pressure we need to put on the muscles and connective tissues. Drawing the head back in space too, so the base of the skull comes back a little bit, so the head balances over the heart space. And that is going to be different for each and every one of us as well. So. We watch this mindful seat, and then we'll take a breath in. On the exhale, make any adjustments you need to to make this sustainable for your body. Remember, there's no way to do this wrong. And already here, it may feel very familiar to you, or it may feel like you've adjusted even a little bit from how you normally sit. From here, let's soften the gaze, lower the gaze or close the eyes and we get that check in, we go inwards. And asking yourself the question, how am I doing today? Watch whatever bubbles up. If there's a lot or maybe it feels quite blank. Give yourself some space just to notice. And lots of different things may come up and we'll go through different areas. So maybe thoughts are coming up. So let's have a look at what's on my mind today. Maybe there's concerns, worries. Maybe you're looking forward to something that's coming up. Maybe you're chewing over something from the past. Just allow it all to be there and be curious. Huh, my mind is really occupied with these things. No judgment. Expand your awareness to how it is you're feeling today. So ask yourself the question, what emotions are present for me right now? And again, simply watch what's there or what's not there. You may recognize certain sensations or feelings. You may be able to label them. You may not be able to label them. And it's all okay. No judgment though. Just curiosity. And then when you're ready, expand your awareness into your body. From the soles of your feet, tip of your toes, tip of your nose and the crown of your head. Notice how's my body doing today? Maybe even taking the awareness to the crown of the head and gently scanning down through the body Noticing tightness, tension, any areas that are tender today that you need to take care of. No judgments, no stories as to why, just notice as you take that awareness down through the body all the way until you're aware of the soles of your feet connecting down. And then we're going to do that in reverse. So from the soles of your feet, this time drawing your awareness up through the body, this time noticing places, areas that feel good, that feel quiet, that feel strong, that feel comfortable. And this often is harder to do as we normally focus on the challenges. This helps us start to balance out the awareness into not only things that are problems, but also the good things. 
And then when you're all the way up to the crown of your head and you can take as much time as you need, on the next three exhales, just simply release any tension as if somebody came and put a warm blanket on and your body could just go <sighs> relaxing, releasing, relaxing the muscles of your face, parting your back teeth if they're clenched. Mm -hmm. And then we start to notice our breath, our breath coming in and out through the body. Consider breathing in and out through the nose if that's a comfortable way for you today. And if it's not, just simply an easy way of breath. No wrong way to breathe. When we breathe in and out through the nose, it lengthens the breath a little and this reduces the stress response. If that is not there for you, then fighting against it is going to actually increase the stress response if you're trying to force nose breathing. So, uh, again, allow yourself a breath coming in and out that feels good and sustainable for you. And then we'll start to deepen that inhale, lengthening the exhale. Deepen and lengthen. Starting to smooth that out all the way to the top of the breath and the bottom of the breath. So we try and steady any areas that feel a little more jumpy, jagged. We're not looking for a particular breath, we're just exploring today's breath. And our breath's different all the time. And then with this smoother breath coming in and out, let go of any forcing, any straining. And there we have it. Get used to this breath length. Get familiar and comfortable with the rhythm of the breath here. And you may even want to count how long the inhale and the exhale takes. Or maybe you just get used to that rhythm. So when I say come back to the breath, this is what I mean. And the breath will and may change throughout our practice, but we do our best to keep the steady, smooth rhythm. With that awareness to the breath, let's root down through our feet and seat, and then rise from there, drawing the shoulders broad and shoulder blades down the back of our body, Collarbones forward, crown of the head is reaching. We've got the steady breath. With the very tip of your nose right in front of you, getting into the neck, starting to create very small figures of eight with the nose in front of you in the air. Very slowly moving through the neck, mindful of how this feels for you. You can adjust those figures of eight to get a little smaller a little bigger, keeping the shoulders steady and even. So we're trying to keep this movement as much as we can in the cervical spine. Any dizziness, you're coming back to stillness. Stay connected to that smoother, steadier breath and allow that smooth, steady quality to come into those figures of eight. And everybody's figure of eight is gonna be different. Let's take another couple of breaths here. You're always welcome to rest. We'll pause and then take those figure of eights round in the opposite direction. Be gentle with yourself. Notice how this feels. Curious. Keep connected to the breath. And let's take another couple of breaths here. You can always rest. 
feeling into the neck and then when you're ready coming back through center let's dangle both of those arms down when you're ready nice easy through the joints shoulders over hips and we're starting to create circles through both shoulders inhaling round and up exhaling round and down and if it feels better to get those elbows involved you can or for some of us it feels better to have those arms dangling down there's no right or wrong try and keep the spine as neutral as possible so drawing those front ribs in so the movement really is as isolated as we can through the shoulder girdle nice slow movements you can make them bigger or smaller but keep the breath guiding the movement and then when you're ready we'll pause take those circles around in the opposite direction keeping those front ribs in so again we're trying to keep the spine as best as we can as neutral as possible you might notice how it feels to bring those shoulder blades towards each other and then slide them away no stories as to why this is this and that is that just moving breathing noticing At the end of that exhale let's pause and take everything back to neutral i'm going to take those arms up in a cactus palms facing me you can stay here or take the fingers on or towards those shoulders soften the shoulders and if that means bringing the elbows down please do there's no right way of doing this and then when you're ready you're going to bring the elbows in towards each other up out back and down Mm -hmm. Again, those front ribs are drawn in, so we're getting this movement through the shoulders. Nice and slow. You might notice that one shoulder is very different from the other. No stories, just be curious. Huh, interesting. See if making those circles bigger or smaller makes a difference. And if there's momentum in it, so we're trying to swing around, see if you can slow it down. What we want is the awareness, but the slowness starts to build up strength and stability within the joint. Mm -hmm. On one of your next exhales, let's pause. You can always rest and take those circles around in the opposite direction. Spine is as neutral as possible. Crown of the head still reaching up from the pelvis down. We're grounded and rooted. And you can create as big or as small as circles. Maybe you want to do every other one. Those arms are probably starting to feel a little heavy by now. Mm -hmm. Let's take another couple of breaths here. And on one of your next exhales, let's take those arms dangling down and give them a little bit of a wiggle. Just noticing how that feels for you. Anchor the breath, longer, steadier, smoother breaths. We're gonna turn that right palm up. Let's bend from the elbow, inhaling up, take that right palm down. On the next inhale, we're coming to the left. Inhaling up, exhaling down. So we're going side to side, Allow the breath to guide the movement. Great place to stay right here as if we're moving through molasses, as if you're pushing through something that feels thick. Option to start to move from the shoulder, one side and then another. Tune into the breath so the breath is guiding you. Option, if you're coming from the shoulder, maybe tip up and over to one side the opposite hand can support you on the chair if that feels good to you and you might notice again one side feels very different from the other when we're coming up and over reach through the crown of your head so we're getting length here from one the hip all the way through the shoulder the fingertips also the crown of the head so we're not collapsing one side we are reaching 
And if one side is very different from the other, please honor that rather than wanting to even it up. Anchor down through the pelvis, both sides of those sitting bones, and to your feet. Let's take two more either side, unless it feels better to rest. Keep connected to the breath, the same rhythm as a breath there. One more either side. Mm -hmm. Let's come all the way back through center when you're ready. Any intuitive movement to release tension. I'm going to take those hands in towards each other. Palms, soft fists, or interlace the hands. Elbows drawn in towards the ribs here. And then we're going to take figure of eights with those hands. Moving through the wrists, of course. The closer those elbows are in towards your ribs, the more the wrists have to do. And if this feels super awkward, that is exactly why we're doing it. We're trying to look for smoothness and flow, just like the flow of the breath and the steadiness of breath. Option to stay here. Option to release those elbows a little and start to allow the upper body to come with you. So one shoulder comes forward, maybe those figure of eights get a little bigger. Keep the breath flowing. And the option is to make those figure of eights, just like with the nose, just a little bigger, your figure of eights. And maybe they get really high and low, or maybe they get wider, or maybe they stay nice and small. You get to choose. What we're looking for is flow and as much smoothness as possible. And however you've expressed that, let's start to Bring the shoulders back to square forward. Forward. We draw the elbows in towards the ribs and we come back to just within the wrists. And then we pause and take that round in the opposite direction. And this usually feels a little more awkward. Try not to look at your hands. Try to allow the flow to come through you. Stay connected to the flow of breath. Option to start to bring the shoulders into that natural movement coming forward and back and then the option there is to create your figure of eights maybe it gets a little bigger and wider maybe it gets a little higher and lower or maybe a little bit of both maybe you play and see what feels really good in your body notice how you're noticing that and making your choices and then when you're ready We'll bring the shoulders to square back up to center. The elbows come in towards the ribs a little more. And then we'll come to stillness, release those hands. Spread those hands really wide as if those fingertips and thumb tips could get as far away as possible. Very slowly curl those hands into as tight of fists as feel good for you. And then we're gonna do that a couple more times, really slow, as if in slow motion reaching, spreading wide, and then curling in. Mm -hmm. Another couple here. Mm -hmm. And then after one of your next exhales, we'll release those fists, give them a little bit of a shake, and we'll take the hands back to support, coming down the spine now into seated cat and cow. So if you're sitting into the back of the chair, I highly recommend you coming forward just a little. Rooting to rise. Now on the inhale, drag the hands towards the pelvis as you um, draw the front ribs forward. So we arch the back here, draw the shoulder blades towards each other. That's the inhale. On the exhale, tuck the tailbone as you push the back of the ribs towards the back of the chair. Fingertips reach towards the knees. Great place to stay here, just going rocking backwards and forwards through the extension and flexion of the spine. Option, if you want to bring it into the cervical spine, find length in the spine and then lift the chin so the back of the neck is long. Exhale, slowly curl the chin down and in towards the collarbones. 
Again, we're not just compressing the back of the head as we lift the chin. There is length there in the back of the neck, so we protect the neck from hinging. Hinging meaning just coming from one joint, so we want the entire cervical spine, the neck, to be moving mindfully. Inhaling and exhaling. If you want to add on with the arms, let's reach one arm up on that inhale, exhale, we're curling down and round, tapping towards the knee, and then coming to the other side. And you might notice one shoulder is very different from the other. The hands, of course, or the arms are just an extension of the spine moving. So notice how that feels for you. Being gentle with yourself. Inhaling and exhaling. Let's take two more, either side, wherever it is that you are, moving with your breath, steady and smooth. Always checking in with yourself, noticing what feels good. More or less, one more breath to go, but take it easy. Mm -hmm. And then after that last exhale, we come back through center and just take one shoulder forward and then the other. So we kind of roll them forward and then let's take it round in the opposite direction, loosening any tension that may have built up. Taking the hands down on the lap, and again, making sure you're rooting pelvis all the way down to the feet, nice and connected downwards, and then rising through the upper body and broadening. Keep connected to the breath in your awareness, coming into the twist, twisting to the left, and then to the right. So on the inhale, we lengthen through the crown of the head. This is the spaciousness between the vertebrae. On the exhale, look towards the left, right shoulder forward, left shoulder and hand back, inhaling back through center. Let's stay on the left to start with. Exhaling, we're right twisting. Now anchor through the feet and through the sitting bone. So that right hip is not sniff, um, sneaking forward. So we really are twisting through the spine. You can take the gaze over that left shoulder if that feels good in your neck, keeping the chin more or less parallel to the earth. We've got that space through the back of the neck as well. Keep the breathing steady. Let's take one more on the side and then we're going to come all the way forward and twist to the right this time. Gently does it, let's stay on the right side. Exhale is the twist. Now we never force the twist. So if your hands are doing a lot of this kind of um, pressure to um, twist, then please release the hands. Just let the um, mechanics of the body allow the twist to come as far as it's able with that left hip anchored. And take the gaze over that back shoulder if that feels good to you. That's the exhale. Let's take another two here, whatever feels good to you. Last one. And then we're coming all the way back through center. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Nicely done. Come back to that breath. And then if you are sitting into the back of the chair still, you might want to come forward just a little. And long spine here. Once again, head over heart, shoulders over hips, more or less, however that works for you. Yeah, I've got my hair in, um, resting on me. And then from there, the crown of the head, as if it has a laser pointer coming up towards the ceiling, we're gonna start to draw a circle. But we're gonna keep a nice long spine here, whatever that means for all of us. So with this length through the spine, coming from the base of the spine, we're gonna to start to draw a circle, very small circle on the ceiling. So keeping that long spine, so we're not rotating through the ribs, this is everything that's coming together. You're gonna to start to notice your weight distribution coming to one side and then the back. 
and then the other side of the sitting bones and forward. One circle to one cycle of breath, keeping that chin back and in, the back of the neck is long. So this is a way of waking up, of course, that corset of core muscles. And we want to keep this movement nice and small, so we're not really activating the really big muscles. We want the transverse abdominals, those three layers underneath, to start to activate. This is really the base of our core muscles. If it feels good to you, you can always draw the pelvic floor in and up, maybe. Imagine that you could elevate the pelvic floor from the tailbone all the way through to the pubic bone, about a centimeter. The pelvic floor is, of course, the base of our core muscles. The end of one of your next exhales, remember to breathe. We're taking that round in the opposite direction. Inhaling and exhaling, this might feel a bit more awkward until you get into the rhythm of this, dis, um, this direction. And again, what we're looking for is steadiness, smoothness, not a big movement, and no momentum, okay? Nice and slow. That's where we start to awaken all of those deep muscles. This helps us with our posture. It, as we activate these muscles, it helps strengthen the spine, helping us as we sit, and if you think about as we sit and stand, the more spaciousness we have in our body, the more space our organs have to do their job. No pinching, no slumping, so the nerves, the um, veins and arteries, all the pathways, the lymph, everything is more open, the more spaciousness we give it. And on one of your next exhales, let's come back through center. Keeping this rooting to rise, all we're going to do is take the feet a little wider, getting into external rotation. Make any adjustments you need to, and if you need to come back into the chair for more support, please do that. I'm going to take the hands in front of us, palms, soft fists, or interlace the hands. Now if you've interlaced the hands, spread those fingers apart, take the opposite first finger and thumb on top than we did earlier when we were doing figure of eights. It's going to feel a bit weird, but um, evening things out and the, um, helping the brain to discover new things about our body. Keep the breath connected. And then with this, we're going to start to create a figure of eight coming up on the inhale crossing over and then exhaling down. Keeping the torso steady, facing forward. And this is, of course, as big or small a movement as you like through the arms. If you want to get involved a little bit more. We're going to lift the heart on the inhale as we lift the arms. And maybe that's a lot, maybe it's not a lot, but we arch the back. And then on that exhale, we're drawing the belly in and rounding, taking the knuckles down. What we want is the smoothness of movement. Let the shoulders come with you. And then allow this to be your own. You could play with a little bigger movement. You could play more over to one side than the other. Notice what this feels like for you, arching and rounding the spine. Mm -hmm. And then wherever you are, at the end of one of those exhales, we're going to come back through center and then take those figure of eights around in the opposite direction. And this is going to feel a bit weird, so start nice and small. The side may feel like you want to take it easy because those arms are getting heavy, or maybe you want to expand that into other areas. Arching, rounding, reaching the knuckles away from you, all those fingertips. And see if you can bring as much flow as you can into this movement. Mm -hmm. Let's 
just take another few breaths here. And then at the end of that exhale, when you're ready, we'll come back through center and release those hands, give them a little shake. And then from here, hands come down, regulate the breath and let's just get into the hips a little. Right hand to the right knee, you can leave the foot on the floor, you can pick the toes or the ball of the foot up. So you're on the heel, your choice. With that breath, we inhale, keeping the knee wide. Exhale, just pivoting from the hip, the knee comes down and in. Yeah, beautifully done. Noticing how this feels. Next time the knee comes out, we're going to leave it there. If the foot was elevated, we'll take it down, make any adjustments you need to. You can keep the whole foot down on the floor, the ball of the foot or the heel, your choice on that left side, inhaling wide, exhaling down and in. Starting to move down through the body. A little movement in those hips, never forcing. The breath is our guide. Inhaling and exhaling. We're never um, pushing the body, always allowing it to open up in its own natural way as we observe it. And next time you take that knee out, let's leave it there. The foot comes down if it was lifted. And in your own way, bringing the feet back into a more parallel position. You can give those knees a little wash side to side, getting rid of any pockets of tension that may have built up. Rooting to rise. Come back to connecting to the breath. I highly recommend softening the gaze or closing the eyes and following the breath in and out once more. Noticing how this feels. You can stay there regulating your breath, checking in with yourself on all the different levels as we did in the beginning. Or when you're ready, we'll pop those eyes open. I'll meet you down on the earth, if you on your back, bringing with you everything within hands distance that you need for relaxation at the end. And if you wanna bring the floor to you, then please feel free to lie down on a sofa, a supported recline chair, or a mattress or a bed. And I'll see you down there. Hello, hello, here we are. Let's come to our backs, making sure you have everything you need. And we'll start with the knees up to the sky, feet to the floor. Arrange yourself so you feel comfortable here and if there's any extra padding or um, for a lot of us taking a folded blanket under the head and the back of the neck so it comes to the top of the shoulders is a great way of supporting here because the, if we take our head to the floor and the chin is way above the forehead then we just need to correct that so we're making sure our spine is supported. Feel free to pick those hips up, shift the pelvis towards the heels there and set it back down so we get that length through the spine. And then one shoulder blade and another underneath here will open up through the chest and heart space. Elbows to the earth and hands coming to rest towards or on the pelvis or the front of those hips. And keeping those eyes soft lowered or closed. Notice the support underneath the body and on an exhale, allow the body to soften and relax into that support. And once that's happened, we start to come back to the regular, steady, smooth breath. Coming down into pelvic tilts here, which of course eases um, things into our hips. On the inhale, imagine the belly button's lifting up towards the earth and we're arching the back. And then on the exhale, the belly button's being pressed down into the earth and the tailbone lifts towards the knees. So on the inhale, the tailbone tilts down a little towards the earth, towards the heels. 
and on that exhale it lifts towards the ceiling towards the knees and if you put the hands on the front of the hips here you might notice this beautiful rocking motion through the hips through the pelvis so what we're looking for here is smoothness of movement so imagine from your tailbone that's about six o'clock on an analog clock and kind of the middle um, of the back is 12 o'clock and we're rolling from six o'clock to 12 o'clock in a smooth line as we're able great place to be right here keeping with that breath the inhale of course as the extension as the we've got that anterior tilt on that exhale the posterior tilt with the pelvis as we tuck the tailbone great place to be right here and if this feels enough for you please stay otherwise on that exhale as we draw the belly down tuck the tailbone maybe we um, draw into the feet and lift the pelvis a little and then we're rolling back down into that lift of the belly and what we're looking for here is smoothness so what we are not looking for is height not right now what we're looking for is to try and control the movement peel maybe the tailbone maybe the pelvis up and we start to come up a little bit higher through the spine a little or a lot again what we're looking for is the control this is the core effort of course keeping both feet anchored to the earth and the toes are nice and soft here you may notice that you're rolling maybe to the outside of your feet or to the inside of your feet see if you can keep them even and if you want to you can release those hands down to your hips or even robot arms or barbie arms and then coming up a little higher maybe you're coming to the top of the shoulders but we're still rolling up and down through the spine with the breath use the earth underneath you to help that movement and after your next inhale on an exhale just simply let the spine come neutral on that exhale and take a few breaths here that felt really good and um, then you can stay there rocking backwards and forwards either through the pelvis or as much as you like up through the spine what we're looking for is of course control or hands come down by your hips and starting again inhaling the belly lift we've got the arch exhaling lifting the hips any amount option to lift and stay pushing down through both feet evenly inside and outside edges both down through the hands and then the option here is to walk one shoulder blade and another underneath you so the heart is a little more open here collarbones are broad hands can rest down or interlace the hands underneath you bringing the shoulder blades a little closer towards each other and coming into your bridge imagine dragging the heels of the feet towards the shoulders pushing into the feet livening up those hamstrings so the back body is supporting you here keep the breath moving through the body and let's stay here for three breaths you can always come out can you follow that steady breath in and out notice what's happening in your body make adjustments as you need to and after the last inhale if you have a bind we'll release it and coming all the way down rolling through the spine and then from here we're going to draw both knees in towards each other just give yourself a little hug rock and roll back and forth Let's keep that left knee in, give it a little hug, take the right foot down to the floor, knee bent, and let's circle through that left ankle. One direction, nice and slow, connect to the breath. And then we'll take those ankle rolls around in the opposite direction.
flex through that ankle. And then from here, releasing the hands down beside you, cactus or T or even behind the head. We're gonna inhale, push that left foot up towards the ceiling, nice bend in that knee or towards straight, and then curling it down and in on an exhale. Inhaling extension, exhaling, curling down and in. Option to keep here, and of course we're moving through the hip and the knee joint here, or next time it comes up, we stay, we stay at whatever extension it is, whether the knee is bent or towards straight. Anchor down through the right foot to draw the belly button down into the earth, so the lower back is anchored here. This is the inhale. On the exhale, let's take that left leg long as if we're taking it down towards the earth, Keep it only as far as the belly is drawn down into the earth and we don't have an arch in the back. And then on an inhale, we're going to drag it back up towards the ceiling, maybe even a little further. Exhaling, that heel comes down. Maybe it hovers from the floor, but not touching. Inhaling up. More is not better here. So what we want is to keep that core active as we move through the hip, of course, we're lengthening through the hip flexor, the quad, and then on that inhale, getting into the back of the left leg. Nicely done. Back body is nice and anchored. And then the next time we draw the leg up towards the ceiling, you're gonna bend that knee, draw the knee down and the heel down, and out towards the left shoulder or armpit. Keep that left hand on that left knee, great place to be. You can stay here, coming into half happy baby, taking that left foot up towards the ceiling, out of thigh, out of shin, out of foot. You can keep that right knee nice and bent here, or option, however it feels in the groin, especially on the left side, if this is enough, then you stay here. The option is to extend the right leg long, anchoring the heel down to the earth. And here we are, half happy baby. And we breathe. This feels too much and you can't keep the breath steady. Please bend that right leg, foot to the floor. Inhaling and exhaling, broad collarbone, steady breath here. And then wherever you are, if the right heel is not down by your seat, we're gonna take it there. Now we extend that right leg if it's not there already. Left knee comes in, up and over, towards the right. Left shoulder is anchored, and here we are in a twist, and we breathe. Playing with where you like that left knee to be, maybe rolling towards or onto the outside of that right hip. And breathe here, nice and steady. Relax through the shoulders, the face, the jaw. And then when you're ready, we're gonna bring everything back to center. Left foot plants down, make any adjustments you need to and draw that right knee in, give it a little hug. And then we're circling through that right ankle. I got some nice snap crackle pops in there. It's ligaments rolling across my bones. And then we pause and take that round in the opposite direction. Smoothing, steadying. And then from there, we'll flex that foot. Release the leg, maybe the hands come to the side of the hips, arms in a cactus or T or behind the head, your choice. This is the exhale, on the inhale, we're sending that right foot up towards the ceiling, flexing that ankle, spread through the toes, and we're curling it in, in and out, noticing how that feels. Mm -hmm. Great place to be. Don't forget about that exhale, we really are putting effort into that curling, we're not just letting the heel 
rest there. So using the hamstrings to squeeze the back of the legs. Option to stay there or option to extend the right leg up, whether the foot is, or whether the knee is straight or towards bent, it does not matter. Push down through the left foot, anchor the lower back into the mat so we don't arch the spine. This is the inhale. Exhale, we're lowering that right heel a little or a lot. On the inhale, we're drawing it back up to the ceiling, maybe even closer towards your nose. Keep that left foot anchoring the torso here. And notice what you're noticing in that right leg. As we draw the toes on the heel up towards the ceiling, of course, we're getting into the back of the leg, but we're also opening up through the hip flexor and the quad on that exhale as we lower. So there's a lot going on. Option to stay here in movement, or let's take that right foot up towards the ceiling. Drop the heel down towards the seat, and then with the right hand on the right knee, draw the right knee out towards your armpit. Great place to stay right here, and we're in modified half happy baby. Option to take that right foot up towards the ceiling. You can take the back of the thigh, back of the shin, outer right foot with the right hand. If this feels enough for you, please stay here. Play with extending out that left leg long. Both feet are flexed here and we're breathing. Any place that you're building up, just tightness and tension. See if you can soften and find some breath through there as you smooth that breath. Get used to that foundation of breath that we said earlier. Breathing in and out through the nose if that's comfy for you or your own way. that foot is up towards the ceiling, then eventually bringing it down, extending the left leg if it's not there already, and that left hand reaches for the right knee, drawing it in, up and over, right shoulder's anchored, and we take that knee over towards the left in a full body twist here. Gaze can come towards that right shoulder if it's anchored so the neck is supported. Can play with where you like to keep that right knee. It does not have to be in stillness. And if there's any way you're holding here, just hanging out here and waiting for it to be over, can you make it a little easier on your body, on your breath by making adjustments? Steady and smooth, easy through the body, easy through the breath. always come out early or we'll take another few breaths here just finding some softness some movement of the breath through any areas that feel stuck here and then when you're ready the knee comes up through center the foot comes down to the floor let's take the other foot to meet it any adjustments you need to bring yourself back into center as you may have shifted throughout the movement Constructive rest, ankles apart, knees towards each other, great place to be for the lower back, taking any extra layers, any bolsters under the knees, pillows, and the option is to come into your chosen relaxation shape here. You can be anywhere that is comfortable for you. A lot of us being on our back is not that comfortable, so if you don't have props to make that comfortable, choose a different shape. Make it your own. And then settling into where it is you've chosen to finish your practice here. And then when you're ready, take a big gathering breath in as if you could fill your whole body up to the peak of your breath and hold. Take another sip of breath all the way in, filling up all the areas that did not have breath. Now hold again. Last breath in, sip of breath, fill up as much as you can and on that exhale, let it go as you relax your body down into the surfaces underneath you. Mm -hmm. And at this point, we let go of the breath 
we release the body down into the support we have. Imagining your bones just got a whole lot heavier. Relax and release through the joints. Arms and legs, heavy, loose and limp. Relaxing the shoulders, the pelvis. Giving your inner organs time to unwind tension from around them. Your belly gets soft. Your lower back releases. And the muscles of your face soften too. Jaw relaxed. to melt like warm candle wax into the surfaces underneath us. And as we do that, we start to release the mind as well. If your body is more relaxed than it was simply moments ago, we ask the mind to do the same. Tuning out the thoughts like a radio. When in a dialogue or voices or concerns appear, just imagine touching that radio dial, old fashioned radio dial, turning it just a little bit so you get quiet. And then you might notice another voice comes in and then we notice and we tune it out. The voices coming in, the thoughts that are constant are part of our practice. They come in, we notice, we let them go. we practice this releasing of things that come into our awareness, we start to realize that we are not the thoughts, we are the one observing the thoughts. Staying here for as long as you like. If you wish to stay for longer, simply tune my voice out, let it wash over you and not disturb you. For those of you who wish to finish your practice, notice your whole body here, crown of your head to the tip of your toes and fingertips. Start to notice that gentle rhythm of breath without needing to change it. It comes and goes, ebbs and flows. Starting to invite a little deeper breath in. Exhale, let that go soft and gently. Imagining that that inhale starts to infuse every cell, every particle, fiber of your being with energy. And on that exhale, let that energy settle in and make itself at home. So with every breath, we feel a little more awakened, enlivened, a 
only to the point that you're comfortable. You get to choose. So when it feels like you have enough breath, life force, prana in you to start to activate some gentle, soft, lazy movements, please go ahead. Allow your body to shift and move in a way that it's asking of you. And if that means that your body is asking you to be quiet and stay in stillness for a little longer, please honor that. And maybe as this process unfolds for you, you wish to stay exactly where you are for the end of your practice. And if your body is guiding you into a different shape for you to finish up, please honor that too and follow it along until you find yourself in the shape that your body chooses for you. Settle in. Allow yourself to be comfortable. And stay within the echo of your practice here. Notice if you're jumping ahead into your day, your afternoon, your evening, your week ahead, come back to this moment. We feel the support underneath our bodies, wherever that is, or those surfaces rising through the heart from there in whatever shape you're in. Is another gesture that you wish to take with your hands or arms, please do, or any other part of your body. We'll take a breath in on the exhale, soften the chin down, lower the gaze or close the eyes on that exhale, and take a moment to notice how you're doing. Your mind, emotions, your body, and notice your breath just as it is. Thank yourself sincerely for the last hour that you have offered yourself. From my heart to yours, thank you so much for being with me. Namaste.